They are huge. Pour the soup in. This place is definitely a hole in the wall. I am stuffed. Are you full? So full. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my husband, Dom, and today we're gonna be doing a $25 food tour around Vancouver, Canada. We're gonna be doing $25 a person for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we're doing vegetarian and non-vegetarian options for you. So Vancouver, not gonna lie, is a little bit expensive, and it can be kind of pricey to get food around here, but these are some really, really good, authentic, hole-in-the-wall restaurants that I've been enjoying since high school that you're gonna love as well. So let's go. I'm currently at Femi Saigon for our first stop. We're gonna be getting a vegetarian option as well as their special. It is honestly the best place to grab Femi here in Vancouver, so let's go. So I got the vegetarian and special here today. They are huge. So these are really worth the money. They're $6 to $6.50 if you get the vegetarian $6. They are packed with veggies. So you got cucumber, daikon, bunch of stuff, sobrancho, jalapeno. This is honestly so delicious and so worth the money. Okay, so we're gonna do a taste test. I like to just like break it in half because I find it easier for me to eat like this. First bite. honestly makes a really good breakfast really good brunch they have a lot of different flavors they have lemongrass chicken lemongrass pork they have more vegetarian options my go-to is always the special as well as the veggie option we're gonna try the vegetarian option now too Woo! the vegetarian option is super super refreshing got tons of veggies I prefer having the vegetarian option for breakfast and if I'm having it for lunch, I'll usually do the special. They also have a really, really good Vietnamese iced coffee and their iced dessert super yummy. So if you have an extra budget, for sure check those out. I'm gonna keep eating this and then we'll go to the next stop soon. How is it? Was it your favorite? It's so good. We're now at Wang's, which is honestly my favorite place here in Vancouver. I grew up eating here. I actually just live right around the corner here, and I used to walk to get dumplings all of the time. I'm gonna show you guys how we eat chalong bao. A lot of food recipes on my blog are actually inspired by them. They wrap their chalong bao fresh at the spot, like literally right there at the corner. They're like wrapping their um, chalong baos and they hand put all their noodles. Super delicious place. So yeah, gonna order. I'm gonna show you guys some vegetarian options and also some non-vegetarian options as well. Can you give me two chalong bao? Two chalong bao. One vegetable bao. I think that's good for now. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. So I cannot wait to eat this. There are two types of dipping sauces that go with shalom bao. You can either use black vinegar or soy sauce. Me and Dom are actually total opposite when it comes to how we eat our shalom bao. So I'm more of a black vinegar person and I think you're more of a soy, soy sauce, sauce, right? Yeah. Even the way we eat dumplings. So when it comes to eating shalom bao, there's two options. Um, everyone is different. Honestly, just enjoy it however you like it. So for me, I like to get shalong bao and I like to get some black vinegar on my spoon. Then I'll break it. Pour the soup in. <laughs> what? And then I'll drink it. I'll get more vinegar. And then I'll enjoy it. <laughs> How about you? So. I will usually dip it in soy sauce, put it back in the, sp in the spoon, bite a hole at the top. And burn his lips? Pretty much. <laughs> and suck out all the soup. I think there's savages that eat it just like as a whole too. Yeah, but then you burn your whole mouth. Like I eat the soup is hot. The you can do that, really but then I would recommend it doing it afterwards if you're gonna eat it as a whole because you don't want to burn your mouth and lose all your taste buds for the rest of the meal because I've done that when I was way too hungry. <laughs> so good. If you come here and you're not a vegetarian, I highly, highly, highly recommend trying their shalom bao. It's probably one of the more affordable places in Vancouver and I think 
it's one of the best places here in Vancouver. Like it's way better than a lot of like these high end places. Super bomb. We got the Shanghai fried noodles. And if you don't live in Vancouver, no worries. I also have a copy cut recipe on my website. Self promo there, but it's 15 minutes. But their Shanghai fried noodles is the best I've had and I love it so much. You can ask for it to do no meat if you're a vegetarian. So for text test. These are huge portions. So this is definitely enough for two people to share. Another thing that they have here that's really yummy if you don't like fried noodles and you want more of a soupy thing for the winter, they have a really good pork chop in noodle soup um, dish, right? Like I think fried pork chop in noodle soup. And that is that's Dom's my personal favorite. favorite. It's so yummy. So the noodle is like nice and thick. It has like little char marks on it. The cabbage is crunchy, super flavorful, bomb. Highly recommend it. For the vegetarian options, if you don't eat shalombal, we got some vegetable buns for you. So they are humongous. They're literally the size of my fist. <laughs> Come in threes. Okay, let's open this up. <laughs> the bun is so fluffy and the inside, Mm. It's like shit's high, which is kind of like sauerkraut cabbage kind of, but not too too sour. Super flavorful. They got some vermicelli noodles in there. They also have some tofu, some mushrooms. Looks like this on the inside. You wanna try? And this is someone who doesn't like vegetarian food. And tell me what you think. If a non-vegetarian a person loves it, that's when you know it's good. Childhood. Right? Childhood food. So we're gonna go enjoy our food and we're probably gonna go work off some of this food before we have dinner. But definitely out of everything I show you today, you need to come to Wang's. We're now at Fraser River. We're doing a quick walk to walk off all of our food because we're so full. Are you full? That is a solid six months belly i would say we're gonna update you guys after dinner to see where we're at but we're gonna walk it off the walk around face river is pretty nice you can do a pretty big loop and their new district has this place called everything wine and you can pick up really really cool beers like taiwanese beers japanese sake and all that stuff there as well we love the yuzu sake there but yeah we're gonna walk it off maybe do some jumping jacks before we head off to dinner we're now at hawker's delight and we're at our last stop for dinner and this place is so good and they have amazing amazing vegetarian options this place is definitely a hole in the wall you definitely have to come check it out i find that not many people know about hawker's delight but it's super super yummy i highly highly recommend so let's go order some food So this is our last stop and we got three things here that are super yummy. Honestly, everything on this menu is amazing. So first off, they have these crispy vegetable fritters that two is only for $1.75 and they're so yummy and so delicious. Next, we got some roti and these are really, really fluffy roti and it comes with like a curry dipping sauce on the side. And finally, we got this huge portion of nasi goreng, which is like fried rice. And then I added a dollar to get two fried egg added on top. I think this is like a must. I love fried rice on top of rice. So let's do a taste test. Let's do the egg yolk actually. Okay, try a bite and give us a honest review. Right? So good. And then like I'm like you guys listen to like how crunchy this is. So there's a lot of vegetables in here. This is honestly such a good appetizer. A dollar seventy-five for two, and they're massive. They're like huge. My favorite thing is for sure the roti. I just love roti in general. So this is like really crispy but also fluffy when you break it apart. And then you gotta dip it in the delicious sauce. So. It's for it's three dollars for one order, which is still pretty affordable. I think this makes a really good lunch option if you want to just do the fritter and the roti and curry. That's like less than five bucks, and you're definitely gonna be filled up. 
But anyways, we're gonna enjoy dinner now, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So that concludes our $25 food tour around Vancouver. We did breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I hope you guys like this video. I am stuffed. Are you full? So full. This is like our favorite thing to do on date night is just to go eat a bunch of random food. And honestly, these places are amazing. Definitely go check out these Asian-owned small business here. And let me know if you guys like this type of video, if you gave any of these restaurants a try, or if you have any go-to cheap eats around Vancouver. Let me know if you want me to do it in any other cities. We're going to go to Hawaii soon so i'm excited about that but anyways we're gonna go walk it off now on main street and i'll see you guys next time bye